so division by t when t is in denominator function is in numerator then what is the principle we are going to apply to evaluate laplace transform so this is the principle we are going to apply a law of f of t by t when t is in denominator we are going to integrate laplace formula integral s to infinity l of f of t ds so this is the principle we are going to apply when t is in product sorry division t is in division so that means any function if you have in f of in numerator in denominator we have t you need to integrate laplace of this one so i said in laplace you have these functions only you will find t e power a t sin and cos so t fix in denominator in numerator you may have e power a t or sin or cos that means problems may be like this l of e power a t by t l of sin t by t l of cos t by t so now when you have in numerator sin you need to integrate laplace sin formula when you have cos in numerator you need to integrate laplace cos formula you have to integrate when you have e power a t you need to integrate laplace e power a t formula for that you need to know the integration formulas but what i am saying here we can easily identify the integration formulas which we are going to apply for laplace transform of e power a t for laplace transform of sin a t for laplace transform of cos a t that we are uh, writing that formulas we are note down in that formulas first to evaluate that one so if to integrate laplace sin what is integration formula we are going to apply i am going to write now to integrate laplace cos formula what is the integration formula we are going to apply that we are going to write now so what i am saying you no need to recall all integration formulas you need to learn few integration formulas which we are going to apply that you know well before applying laplace if you have sin we are going to apply this integration formula if you have cos we have a particular integration formula if we have e power at in numerator we have a particular integration that formulas i am going to give now these are integration formulas integration formula so in these integration formulas we are going to write three formulas so when sin is in numerator what is formula to integrate to integrate l of sin what is formula to integrate L of cos. What is formula to integrate L of cos? L of e power a t. So these three, three we are going to discuss now. So whenever sine is in numerator, what is the integration formula we are going to use? This one, integral one by x square plus y square dx equal to one by y tan inverse x by y plus c. So this is the integration formula we are going to use to integrate Laplace sine formula. Similarly, if we have cos in numerator, this is the formula we are going to apply. Integral y dash of x by y of x dx equal to log e of x so if you have e power a t in numerator this is the formula you are going to use integral 1 by x dx log x plus c so this three integration formulas you need to recall whenever you are going to apply division by t rule so now we are going to see practically how we are going to use these uh, three integration formulas with three examples coming to the first example when sin is in numerator l of sin 2t by 
T. When you have T in denominator, then immediately you have to get this symbol. Integral S to infinity, L of sin 2T ds. You know very well, L of sin AT has this formula. L of sin AT formula, you know. L of sin AT equal to A by S square plus A square. So here, A is 2, right? A is 2. Then what you will get? Integral S to infinity, 2 by S square plus 2 square ds. Now recall the integration formula which we are going to use. To integrate Laplace sign, this is the formula we are going to use. This formula I am going to apply there. This is the formula we are going to use. This is integral 1 by x square plus a square dx 1 by a and inverse x by a. Here, a is 2. In the place of x, you are having s. In this formula, I am going to write in the place of a 2 in the place of x s. So this 2 is constant. 1 by 2 tan inverse x by a limits s to infinity. So this 2 2 get cancelled. We know that tan inverse of infinity is pi by 2 because tan 90 infinity. Tan inverse of infinity pi by 2. That means if you write in the place of s infinity, you will get pi by 2 minus. If you write in the place of s, yes, you will get same. So pi by 2 minus tan inverse s is cot inverse s or you can uh, stop here itself. This is the answer or cot inverse s by 2. Anyone? So whenever solving L of sin 2t by t is problem, you need to keep this value in your mind. Tan inverse of infinity 90. Similarly, if you have cos in numerator, L of cos t by t if you have. If you have cos in numerator, in denominator t, so division by t means you need to integrate Laplace of cos. So that is integral s to infinity L of cos t ds. What is L of cos t? S by s square plus 1 square. S by s square plus a square L of cos a t. Here a is 1. Now, if you have cos, you need to use this formula. Integral f dash of x by f of x dx. That is, differentiation of denominator, if we have numerator, we can use, we can think about this formula. For every cos, Laplace cos, you will get s in numerator. What is differentiation of s square? Differentiation of x square is 2x. Differentiation of s square is 2s. If you have 2 here, you can apply this formula. So, I am writing here 2, I am dividing that one with 2. Now, this will be in this form, f dash of s by f of s. What is the formula? Log f of x. That means log denominator, log s square plus 1 into s to infinity. Simple logic, differentiation of s square 2s. If you have 2s here, you can use this formula. For every cos formula, you will have s, you need to multiply 2 and divide with 2 for every cos. Now, log infinity does not exist, so we are not going to apply substitute upper limit whenever if you get log. So, for simply, you can substitute lower limit, for lower limit, upper limit you can keep 0. So, lower limit means, right in the place of s, yes only, that means same. What you will get? Minus 1 by 2 log s square plus 1. This is the part. This is the answer for cos. If you have e power 80, if you have e power 80, what you will get? L of e power 3t by t if you have. What you are going to? Simply integral s to infinity L of e power 3t ds. L of e power 3t, L of e power 80, 1 by s minus a. So, integral s to infinity, 1 by s minus 3. 
So if you have e power a t, this is the formula we are going to use. Integral 1 by x dx. What is integral 1 by x? Integral 1 by x is log x. So integral 1 by x, log x limits s to infinity. No need to substitute the upper limit. For upper limit you can keep 0. For lower limit, write in the place of s, s only. So minus log s minus 3 will get. 0 minus log s minus 3 log. So if you can recall these three, if you can understand these three, that is enough to understand division by t. Other than sine cos e power a t, you won't get any other function in numerator whenever t is in denominator. That's why these are three fundamental problems on division by t. If you can understand these three, you can do any problem in division by t. So L of integral 0 to infinity e power minus t sin t by t dt. So this one we need to evaluate now. So here multiple principles you are having division by t. First shifting theorem, Laplace transform of integral. Three principles you are having. The three you know. L of integral 0 to t f of t dt has this formula. 1 by s L of f of t. Simply write 1 by s. This is first principle. Second principle. L of e power minus a t f of t dt. Find Laplace of f of t and replace in that s with s plus a. Last one. What we are discussing now. L of f of t by t. Division by t. So, integrate Laplace formula. L of f of t these. So these three are the formulas which we are going to apply to evaluate given problem. This is Laplace of integral. This is called first shifting theorem. This is called division by t rule. This many principles we have in the problem, we are going to evaluate these all. So first, I said, whenever you have a shifting theorem along with some other principle, apply a shifting theorem at the end. So what I am saying, you are having division by t and a shifting theorem. What I am saying, first apply division by t rule. Next apply a shifting theorem. That is, this one you need to evaluate first, so that you can easily evaluate. If you want, you can apply first shifting theorem then division by t also. This is easy way of evaluating. So if you have t in denom denominator, you need to apply this principle. This is the principle. Integral s to infinity L of sin t ds. What is L of sin t? Laplace transform of sin a t. a by s square plus a square. That is integral s to infinity 1 by s square plus 1 square deals. So this is the formula generally we think about whenever we have Laplace sign. Whenever we are integrating Laplace sign, we fix one integration formula that is integral 1 by x square plus a square dx 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So this is the formula. Here a is 1, that's why 1 by 1, no need to write 1 by 1. Tan inverse s is 0. Limits s to infinity. I already said tan inverse of infinity is pi by 2. Tan 90 infinity. So pi by 2 minus tan inverse s. 90 minus tan inverse s. This is first of all, division by t. Next, we need to apply first shifting theorem. So, first shifting theorem of L of e power minus t sin t by t. L of sin t by t. In L of sin t by t, replace s with s plus 1. 
in L of sin t by t replaces by s plus 1. So L of sin t by t just now we evaluated that is pi by 2 minus tan versus in this wherever you are adding s write there s plus 1 or you can replace 90 minus tan versus like cot inverses. In cot inverses, replace s with s plus 1. Anyway, the two ways you can get the answer. Replace s by s plus 1. Pi by 2 minus tan inverse of s plus 1. Write in the place of s, s plus 1. Now, finally, our problem. L of integral 0 to t, e power minus t, sin t by t dt. Integral 0 to t means you need to write 1 by s before this term. This is already evaluated. 1 by s into pi by 2 minus tan inverse of s plus 1 or cot inverse of s plus 1. So like this, one can easily evaluate when you have along with division by t some other principles. Any doubts you may express.